Hi guys, uh, I wanted to go over my experience with you uh, with Bose. Um, when I first started hearing stuff that was actually impressive, uh, one of the first set of speakers I ever heard were Bose 301s. And, um, you know, for me at the time, I was a young kid, and uh, it, I think they were Series 3, and they were on top of these giant, um, I don't know, I think they were Advent speakers. I mean, they're they're big speakers. And they had these little, you know, 301s on top, and he played this music. I'm like, wow, those speakers are great. He's like, you know, the big ones aren't working. And these are just the little ones. I'm like, wow, okay. So that kind of piqued my interest, and then, you know, I had gone through... Uh, a set of uh, 301s myself, actually two sets. Um, I had tried their center channel, I've tried uh, their surrounds, um, and I've tried uh, several different things. I had two uh, pairs of Bose 901s, and, um, and then I went to the Acoustamass series. And um, Here's the big problem with all of it. Love or hate bows, a lot of people that, you know, there's a lot of people that think bows are the best. Um, and, you know, there there are certain things bows has going for it. Um, you know, certainly being compact, um, uh, particularly their, you know, their AM series, uh, you know, the small jewel cubes, their lifestyle systems. Um, they pitch that they, you know, sell simpler systems, um, more compact systems, systems that aren't like this, that make a big statement, you know, they, they show this as being a bad thing. Um, you know, and for people that don't really care that much about fidelity, they don't care so much about how the, the system actually performs, um, you know, they can work. Um, you know, you get one of their, their clock radios that, you know, sounds pretty good for a clock radio. Um, but in terms of bass, in terms of, you know, low level frequencies, I haven't found anything that will truly um, perform. And that was one of the things that led me to, you know, bigger and better subs um, and ultimately to this channel. Um, but Bose was probably, uh, <laughs> unfortunately, probably two thirds of my home theater, you know, experience. Um, and so for me, when I got bigger subwoofers um, and, and things that actually performed well, it was night and day. Um, now, you know, I, I've, I've said before that I don't want to bash brands, but I did think it was important to talk about, you know, what I thought of, of Bose and what I thought of, um, you know, who I think they're good for and who I think they're not good for. Um, for people that really want you know, substantial performance and whatnot. Um, you know, I, I think you need to be looking more towards um, companies like uh, HSU, SVS, um, you know, uh, uh, Rhythmic um, for subs. Uh, you know, these companies that focus more on doing it right rather than so much on their advertising. Um, and, you know, some of the, the speakers I had, like the 901s, my biggest complaint was no bass and no way to really add bass unless you had a rather complicated setup. You know, you couldn't just go out and get uh, a subwoofer like one of these and put it on because you had to have this, you know, uh, EQ that was specific to the 901s. Um, so in terms of, you know, real world usability, and those were very specific on, on how you had to set them up. Um, so, you know, I, I, don't mean to bash them, but I do mean to educate my buyers um, or my viewers, I should say. Um, I don't really sell anything, um, but I, I feel my viewers uh, should should know what I thought on it because it's it was one of those things that um, once I got out of the 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 bow's trap, I guess um, life got a lot better uh, when I got uh, speakers that were you know, more substantial and had, and, and, you know, I guess more along the lines of their 301 series. Um, but when I got the better speakers, it was, it was just, it was kind of night and day. Um, so those, they market to a particular niche of people who, you know, just want it small and, and almost 
kind of bling in a sense, I guess. Um, you know, Bose has a name and a reputation. Uh, so people are like, ooh, you have Bose. Ooh, you know. Whereas you say, oh, you have SVS? What's that? <laughs> it's it's kind of silly when you really think about it. Because, um, you know, something like SVS is like it, so much more substantial. Um, so... Anyway, that was just kind of my experience with it. Um, you know, it's uh, y you're not going to get bass out of five and a half inch drivers. That's going to be anything comparable to something like that. Um, and that's really one of the smallest subs I'd recommend. You know, the PB one thousand. Um, you know, I think that's kind of the minimum you need to do to get real good bass that behaves as it should. Um, you know, it was one of those things, you know, I've had dual subwoofers before this. Um, I had a, um, a an Acoustamass module, which is, I think, three five-inch drivers. And I coupled that with a 10-inch with that came with a home theater in a box. Um, that happened to be an Onkyo. And, um, you know, you're not going to get good saturation or even balance out of a setup like that. It was... It was not good. Um, I was very disappointed in my in my you know bass performance, and it really took away from the rest of the spectrum. If that makes any sense, you know, if you're listening to something, and the bass is an important part of that that sound, it kind of ruins everything else. Um, if you don't believe me, go turn off your subwoofer and play a track you normally listen to. It it just seems kind of flat and bland. Um, you put the bass in there and that just really ties everything together. So, you know, that was, that's kind of my, where a lot of my frustrations came from, um, in some of my earlier videos. Um, I didn't really want to talk about them, but I'm going to put this up and see how long it lasts. See if it gets, you know, complained against or taken down. Who knows? We'll see. Um, but I thought it was important that I actually do put that out there. Um, I'm not going to continue to talk about them, um, but I am. I just wanted to at least put this, put up this one video, so you guys could understand what I'm saying um, and understand what I'm, what I'd been comparing against prior to this. Um, so, you know, in terms of the performance I get now, um, it's completely unapologetic. You know, the, the performance I have now. I've got nothing to say. Yeah, it's it's not the best. No, no, it's great. It really is. It's great. You know, I I and I know that there are guys have way better systems than what I've got. Yeah, I'm compl completely aware of that. But in terms of you know just having something set up in my living room that sounds fantastic, um, that delivers uh, musically, delivers uh, with movies, and um, and never really falters, never really runs out. Um, this kind of setup's been great. So, um, anyway, that's kind of what the channel is about. You know, it, it's about great sound simplified. Okay, so you know, if you want to get, you know, sound or power conditioners and and you know, solid gold speaker cables and all that stuff, you're you're well beyond my level of sanity. Um, for me, I just I want to have something good, be done with it, and and just enjoy it. Um, and I think that's the way a lot of people are and a lot of people do have, you know, their home theaters in their living room So they have this similar challenge as I do and, uh, and you know, I'm not into, you know uh, You know the hype being oh you need these tiny little speakers and look how big they sound You know that to me that's hype, you know, and, and bling is, you know a $5,000 tower speaker that's bling to me. I, I don't You know, I'm sure it sounds good um but I'm also sure it's kind of specialized too. I mean, you know, you can get so particular with certain speakers that, you know, it, it, it's it's a huge, massive speaker. But what comes out of it may be so specialized that you don't really like it. That can happen too. I, I'm not saying it happens often, but it does happen. Um, anyway, I'm gonna wrap this up. But I just want to share my little Bose trip with you guys. Um, I'm just making this one video about bows. I'm not going to really talk about them um, anymore. Uh, it's just one of those things that I thought was relevant. I thought you guys should know my my stance on them, um, and without being you know real nasty about it. So 
Um, you know, they, they serve a, a particular market segment, and that market segment falls, I think, outside of my audience. Um, you know, my audience are people who just want good quality, um, good sound, uh, bass that's unapologetic, and, um, you know, just something that is just a good, reliable system. So, anyway, that's my thing, guys. I appreciate it, and uh, please subscribe.